Now to our special health check report on a local teenager found to have what might be a vaping related lung injury. But unlike other cases, even though he had damage, he didn't have symptoms. It was found by accident. And this begs the question, are many more people walking around with lung damage and just don't know it yet? Health reporter and registered nurse Sally Gorman has the story. I couldn't even lay on that side. Starry strips and soreness mark the area where 18-year-old Joey Windsor recently had a lung biopsy. Not because he was coughing or had shortness of breath, but because Joey was in a car accident. And during a CT scan of his back, doctors noticed damage in his lungs. All this redness and all this is all inflamed. His mother showing us the pictures from the biopsy performed at Nemours DuPont Hospital by pediatric surgeon Dr. Kirk Reichard. We don't do lung biopsies terribly often in, in young people, but we do for various different reasons. And I've never seen anything like this in a kid, neither has our pathologist. He can't definitively exactly. say the injury is due to vaping, but he can't rule it out either. It could be. It's clearly at some point he inhaled some toxins that were inflaming his lung and those toxins had fat or lipid in them. Fat or lipid deposits have also been reported in many of the now nearly 2,000 people with severe lung illness related to vaping. Joey says he had been vaping for about two years. I didn't really think of anything. I just thought everybody was doing it, so it was cool. Dr. Cheryl Bedigal of the Philadelphia Health Department says that's also when they started to see a real spike in kids using e-cigarettes. Many products had added a buffer, allowing for higher nicotine concentration. Instead of, you know, at that high concentration, making the teen cough and wheeze, it's buffered. And so they're able to tolerate that very high nicotine concentration. And hence, get hooked fast. She and many other experts are concerned, while we don't know the long-term effects of people who end up in the ICU but recover, we also don't know what happens to people like Joey, who have vaped but don't currently have any symptoms. I'm very scared because there's no trials. Um, there's no, you know, past studies. So Joey will be the trial. Joey tries not to worry about the future, but is telling his friends... Stop vaping. You're going to like me. And that's the advice to stop vaping. If you have vaped for a significant amount of time or used products with THC or ones bought off the street, you may want to talk to your health care provider about your risks or if you need help to break the habit. Allie Gorman, Channel 6, Action News.